Have you ever had a situation where you send somebody an email and wondered why they haven't followed up with you yet? It's been a few days. Later, you find out the person was out of the office. Maybe they were on vacation or they were in training. Either way, when I find myself in this situation, my snarky inside voice sometimes says, can you please let a person know? One of the best ways to solve this problem is to use automatic replies in Outlook. So let's jump in and take a look at how to do that. It is possible to set up Outlook automatic replies in both the web application or the desktop application. We're gonna start with Outlook on the web. Go to the settings icon in the upper right hand corner, which is the gear icon. From there, you're gonna to scroll to the bottom of the page and choose view all Outlook settings. From the mail option, go to the automatic reply settings. And this is where you can turn on your automatic replies with a toggle button. The default is to turn on automatic replies as soon as you toggle it on and the messages will continue to go out until you turn them off again. I suggest that you check the box for send replies during a time period and then choose the date and times you will be unavailable. The reason I say this is I often see people who forget to return their replies off and several days later, we're all still getting messages telling us that someone's been out of the office for specified dates. This can make you seem a little less professional. When you set up replies using Outlook on the web, you have these three options to control what happens with your calendar. The first one is to block your calendar for the specified period. The next is to automatically decline new invitations for events that occur during this period. This way your coworkers will definitely know you're not attending whatever meeting invite they sent to you. The final one is to decline and cancel your meetings during the specified period. Now be careful with using this one because what it will do is it will cancel meetings that you organized or meetings you were invited to. If you are organizing meetings for other people, you may not want all of your meetings to be canceled just because you're on vacation. Now you can set up the message that should be sent out while you're out. Put anything that makes sense for your business process. But for example, where I work, we need to specify when we're gonna be gone, who should be the backup contact for urgent matters, and when we will return. The message in the first box will be sent to people in your organization. There is a second choice to send replies outside of your company. This message can be the same as the one we just typed, or you can type something different if applicable. For this simple scenario, I'm just going to take the message from the first box and copy and paste it into the send replies outside your organization box. And when I'm done, I will click save to accept all of my changes. If you prefer, you can set up your automatic replies from the Outlook desktop application. The steps and options are a little different. Go to File in the upper left-hand corner and then choose Automatic Replies. A floating dialog box will appear in the middle of your window. Here you see that there's already an automatic reply in effect because what I did on the web app is also applied to the desktop app. You still have the options to set the replies for a specific date and time and choose if the message will go to anyone outside of your company. However, we don't see the handy calendar options that we just talked about. What the Outlook desktop app does have is the rules option in the bottom left corner of the automatic replies floating dialog box. This lets you set up rules that will be applied to incoming messages while you are out of office in this example, I will set up a rule that basically says when Nestor sends me an email, I want it to automatically be forwarded to my designated backup. First, I will put Nestor's name in the from field. Then I will put my name in the sent to field. After I do that, you'll notice that there are two checkboxes below. I only want the message to be forwarded if it was sent directly to me. If I am on the CC line, an answer can wait until I return. Toward the bottom of the edit rule box, I can choose who to forward it to by placing a check mark in the forward box and then selecting Andrew's name. Finally, all I must do is click OK and the rule is set up. Now you know the different choices that you have to set up automatic replies in Outlook. I'm a big fan of the web version, but please drop me a comment and let me know which one you tend to use. 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.